Hello and welcome to this hopefully very instructive episode of GM Talks. If you are not already a subscriber, please uh, feel free to kick the click that button on on the right on below here and on and also like it if you like the content of course if you don't like it don't like it um, today we will look at understanding chess openings and uh, we'll start with this structure that is uh, well known from the Scandinavian and the Karokan and and if you put the pawn back on c7 you could also say it's a Rubinstein French so what can we say about this uh, this situation we have um, uh, five, uh, seven, seven white pawns and uh, seven black pawns, and black's got one file here, and white's got one here. Um, and as you can see, that uh, black's file is only four squares, and white's file is five squares, and uh, and it sort of determines uh, the game because because of the pawn on d4, this guy here. White has a slight space advantage, uh, and this can be important uh, in general. In in modern chess, people really like space advantages, but it's not sure it will be an advantage. Um, we can also see that, and this is very important, that this whole row is free, and this is where the fighting will take place uh, mostly. Um, and 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 the, the 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 structure also determines that this square. Oops, 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 oops. Um, is of course the most important square. You can just feel it from the pawn structure. Okay, let's have a little look uh, about different pawn moves. As you can see, that black can almost make no moves without weakening his position, except for c5 or e5 if he manages to get those in uh, he usually equalizes unless he's uh, far behind in development and will be uh, so to come to some sort of attack uh, come under attack okay now let's see for white uh, the the only really uh, pawn structure plan you have as white is to go um, c4 um, we just call new variation and with the idea to go uh, d5. Uh, this is uh, this is the pawn break uh, you usually see. Uh, you can also get it in in in, in various uh, other uh, openings, and 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 this is the only really uh, thing that makes sense. Apart from that, White will attack with the pieces, uh, and uh, or sometime he will hunt a, black, a white squared bishop. We'll get back to that later. Uh, that will be outside the pawn chain. Uh, black has, of course, the same idea, c5 and e5, maybe sometime even uh, b5, to try and get control of this square, uh, which is a, a common strategic idea. We also see that black has no weaknesses, uh, almost no weaknesses. Uh, uh, this square could be weak, and this pawn sometimes is weak. And sometimes this one, and this one, and this one. But they are all kind of defended, so white has to, to do some serious attacking to get to these points. Um, if we go back um, one move, and we will see that, okay, but c4, when we play c4, we leave both of these pawns uh, sort of hanging in the air. If, if, if white just goes c3, they are defended, but the, the pawns on the white squares are sort of weak. Uh, uh, or not the pawn, the, the squares. It it kind of uh, you have you have you can feel that there's some some weakness on the white squares somehow. It's, it's usually not very important, but if you also go something like a3, um, then it might be important uh, that that all these white squares complex is is weakened. Um, if we look at white's king side, we see that if you go for instance, go we'll go back again and play another move. Um, f4, uh, new variation. We see that this move is the one of the idea behind is is a very strategic good idea is to play f4, f5 uh, because uh, you would get some uh, and you will hit this guy and uh, and and if he takes you will have a majority on the queen side and you will have open files on on the king side. So it looks kind of good, but uh, f4 if it's stuck here. 
on f4, it weakens a lot of squares. It weakens uh, all uh, all the pawns. It's the pawn is, is, is itself is weak, but if you look at at the, at, at the different squares it, it, that's been weakened by this, um, it's a lot of squares actually. So uh, and and even even you can say that that f3 and f4 is actually also weakened, and because it, it's or and even f2. Because it's uh, it's become harder to defend them when the pawn has gone sailing away. So f4 is is weakening. If we go back again, see that a, a, a move like g4 is even worse. Uh, it, it leaves big 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 holes here. Uh, and 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 of course g2 will also be be harder to defend with the pawn sailing away. There might be some some trouble in. In the a8 to h1 diagonal, um, and and similar, so it's not so easy for white to to move a pawn without making weaknesses. Uh, and the same goes for black. Um, black can uh, can 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 move pawns, but whatever he do, uh, he will create a weakness somewhere, uh, either on uh, on on some squares. If you play g6, he will weaken the black squares, if you play a6, you also weaken the black square, if you play b6, you weaken c6, if you play f6, you weaken e6, and so on. So, and, and that's also, so, so only c5 and e5 is, is really what black is, is, is trying to, to do. Um, and this is also something you see in Karakan, it's, uh, it, it used to be very much favored by people who doesn't like to play with their pawns, that just say, okay, I have this pawn structure, and uh, I will keep it, and then I will move my pieces. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's move on uh, to the next game because um, I will not save this one. And we see that if we have bishop on, and this is typical for um, for for the Karakan uh, structure that uh, or, or the Scandinavian that Black is 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 uh, sacrificing some time to get his uh, pieces out, and and this piece is of course uh, quite strong. And it's probably stronger than this piece, uh, because uh, all all the things that the, that the, the white uh, bishop wants to attack, uh, the black uh, bishop can defend, and at the same time the black bishop can also do other things. Uh, so 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 this bishop is is strong, and you usually see that when it's come outside, white will try and exchange it or uh, hunt it or or get rid of it uh, it's it's very difficult to play around it and, and this is what you would usually do um, and and we also see that uh, that that's why in the main line that that white usually just exchange the, the, the bishop um, we'll go on to the next game um, I will not keep this and we see here this is typical from the Scandinavian and here we also see that white only has more or less three plans if you see it you have one plan is to go d45 this is absolutely not possible that's also why black is always over protecting d5 to keep as much control over it as possible uh, another plan is to uh, to get the the pawns uh, going here um some like this and this and 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 uh, annoy annoy the the bishop uh, not easy to accomplish, and it always weakens uh, white structure. Um, and 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 the third plan is to attack with pieces, uh, getting uh, knights into to the attack, maybe getting some rooks uh, going. But again, uh, the very strong bishop here on f5 makes it hard, um, so it's not so easy. So um, we also see that that this is uh, that this setup for white is, is is usually in the Scandinavian, and we also see that it's kind of not what white wants. Because if you want to go c4 and d5, uh, you, you you have two pieces blocking that plan. Uh, so even though you get to kick the knight, uh, the king, the queen with knight c3, you you still put your knight as something weird square. You you would basically like to get the pawns rolling forward. Uh, Okay, and okay, and here we have if uh, the C pawns are exchanged, and this is the most normal tra uh, transformation, and uh, and it it changes the game a lot actually uh, when they when they are exchanged. Uh, in general, it's considered favorable for black to exchange the C pawn for the D pawn. Uh, first, because uh, black now has a majority in the center. 
and the center is usually uh, more important uh, than the queen side. Uh, this is uh, something well known. Uh, also, black will have, uh, if he gets pieces out, they can be very strong. Black might actually, if, as you can see, be the one who can get a space advantage if he, he managed to, to uh, move the, the e-pawn forward, he will be the one with the space advantage suddenly. Uh, in, in Earlier, uh, everybody thought that the, the queen side majority was very strong, but, but people are not so sure anymore. And I think in, in general, if, if black has no other problems, uh, most people will say that, that this structure is in favor of black. So this is a favorable exchange. If you're not getting uh, killed by some vicious attack, go for this uh, this uh, this exchange with the C pawn versus the D pawn. There's also another exchange that can take place, um, and this is a uh, this exchange. That's where the E pawn go, and we have an almost symmetrical um, situation. Usually. This is not as good for black as um, as, as the C-pawn, both because the, the, the structure is now symmetrical, but also because when this takes place, white is usually better developed. And in a symmetrical open position, uh, the better developed player will have an advantage. So so you should be a little bit careful. Uh, if you can get to, to exchange the E-pawn for the D-pawn without uh, giving white an attack, then it's fine. But, if, uh, but in general, it should be a little bit different uh, sort of uh, look look after yourself here because uh, something bad can happen very quickly in, in, in when, when this transformation uh, takes place and this was it uh, for the caro can structure um, remember to, to watch the next uh, one of the next videos we will look at some great caro can games to get a feeling of what's uh, what's going on hope you enjoyed this and remember to subscribe uh, thank you for watching